Tell me you don't want to slap him as bad as <laughs> Come on, Sir, you dipshit. Did you, did you ah, that host, man, he's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Huh? Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta. Fuck, screw that. Where the fuck's Laszlo? All right. Yeah. That was really. All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. Hi. All right. Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill, make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, Two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music. When I came home last night, you wouldn't make love to me. You went fast asleep. Ah. Yeah. You wouldn't even talk to Shake me. Shake what your daddy's gave you, honey. Sounds so crazy. Mm. Get down. Stop a twenty. In this. Fucking do something about this? Uh, uh, that's enough. Oh, oh, I said that's enough! Hey, oh, hey, hey, I got security! Security! What you fucking Hold say? Come on, big guy! Come on! Come on! No. Fuck no. Come here, you little shit! No. Tracy, go home! Hey, where you running off to? Now that is reality TV I would want to watch. Holy Christmas. Can I detach this? The trailer was slowing us down. There we go. Much better. How can you sit there and watch your daughter get treated like that? Hey, you raise a daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting. Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. We're gonna flatten his toy car in this big rig. Don't you worry. Fucking Laszlo. I knew he was an asshole. Just push him off the fucking road. It's only a battery car. Come on. This ain't exactly a racer. I saw him turn left. Ah, the little bastard's going on through the train tracks. We can have a little fun with him. But let's not try to kill this prick, all right? When we crush his little toy car, who knows what'll happen to him? Hey, take a left up here. This country is... I knew this city would be full of douchebags. Can we speed it up a little? Huh? Maybe by throwing your fat carcass over the side. Hello? Look, we went right. Right, right, here. Can't get enough of the celebrities, can you? Ten fucking minutes in LS. Shut up! That cocksucker might be famous, but who? Oh. We'll 
get him. We'll get him! But we're sure taking our time about it. Can't go any faster, Michael. Calm it down. Ha ah, ah, ha! He's going down into the LS River. I can see that. I hate that closeted man whore on the TV. I hate him on the radio. I hate him even more in person. He was never funny. What an introduction for Laszlo. It's the first time you're seeing him in person in the game. The little shit's all out of juice. Hey, 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 guys. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, uh, huh? I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Uh, Pants off. Uh, uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, All right. What are you doing now? I want you to dance sexy, celebrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need music or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> All right, all right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on, lower, oh, lower, come on. Oh, no. oh, please don't kill me, okay? I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right, please, come on, no, get no. up. Take off, go, now, before I change my mind. I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. Excuse me, guys. Let me see. How much money do I have now? Whoa, he's got over a million dollars? Nice! Oh, he's got to take care of his weapons at some point, too. It's my idea. I came up well, let's go take that car. And we do got to go talk to Dave at some point. But not too far from there is, uh, well, I think Mike's going to need to see a psychologist talk over what's going on. Yeah, you guys can't see it because I'm not doing the whole, uh, you know, picture in picture thing with my reactions, but... <laughs> I'm doing a whole lot of smiling during these cutscenes. My goodness, man. Trevor and Mike together is just such a nice, I don't know. They're just such a good team. Yeah. yeah, for those of you who have not played the story mode yet, I mean, yeah, please do keep watching my uh, playthrough, but it is so worth your time to play it on your own. Um, so enjoyable. And, and I mean, even though GT Online takes place here and everything's pretty much the same, it's such a different experience playing as these three guys. It it really is. Oh, you screwed up my car! Oh my God, this really does look like something Michael would drive too, doesn't it? <laughs> Lincoln Town Car looking thing.
Put the fuck out! Yeah, come on, I gotta get to my therapist, people. I'm in a rush. Well, you've made it in the end. Yeah. Please, take a seat. Hey, you mind if I don't, Doc? No. Do as you like. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man. Man. Man! You know what, look. I'm just gonna take off. I'm not in the mood for this shit. This fucking bullshit. As you wish, Michael. Can I ask you something, Doc? I mean, you're a wise, kind, know-it-all kind of guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you believe in evil? No. No, I don't. I'm a man of science. Evil is a construct made by people who wish to indulge childish fantasies or by people who wish to judge others. It all comes back to the father-mother syndrome, which is what we spent last year on. Yeah, well, you obviously never met my old buddy. Hey, we call him Tony. I thought he was called Trevor. Oh, shit. That's right, I forgot I told you about him. God. Nope, don't worry, everything you tell me is in strict confidence. Didn't you tell me that if I turn things over, you know, start it again, that the universe would find some way to forgive me? Wasn't that you? And have you? Turn things over? Well, no, I mean, you know, not really, but that's not the point. I mean, I, I wanted to. That is the point. What's been going on exactly, Michael? I think you'll call this a bad relapse. Relapse is a vital part of recovery. <sighs> Boy, where do I start? I went back into the business. That business? I gotta be honest with you, Doc. I mean, why am I paying you all this money if not to be honest? For once. It felt good. That government guy I told you about, he got wind of it. It's fine. Expected. <laughs> Problem is, he's not the only one. He fucking found me, Doc. My old pal, Trevor. He's alive and he ain't going nowhere. This is bad, Doc. You gotta help me. Hmm. Honesty's an obstacle for you, Michael. Have you considered that transparency might be less painful than obfuscation? Hmm. Anything else you want to tell me? Yeah, I mean, I've had good days, Doc, but mostly they've just been really bad days. They're doing really bad things, you know, hurting people. You're a very sick man, Michael. I'm doing all I can, but we need more sessions. You listen to me, asshole. I never said I was perfect. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? I'm doing well, Doc, in that regard. Nothing to report. Not one single thing. That's great, Michael. It's real progress. See? Treatment works when you try. <sighs> if I could just get all these people off my back, Doc, I'd be doing a lot better. Fascinating. You may actually be a rare combination of a sociopath and a deluded psychopath. 
Either that or a more classic case of a weak pup who was weaned too soon by an angry mother. What the hell does that mean? It means that's about all we have time for. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. And remember, brother, we're all rowing together. Now, cross that ocean. Oh, by the way, your insurance ran out. Listen, I don't suppose you could pay cash from now on. If I'm hearing correctly, you've clearly got some. Yeah, okay. Close the door on your way out. And buddy, chin up, okay? Thousand bucks? You know what? I'm taking your car. Yeah, you should get something for my thousand dollars. And let's go meet with Dave. I'm glad you're pleased. Oh! Wrong time to cross! <coughs> Excuse me again, guys. Hey, Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life! You did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. Remember after that boat thing? Take this seriously! Do you know how bad I wanted that? Fame or shame is like an amazing opportunity! You're such a fucking fuck, you really are! You'll get over it. You'll see, I did you a favor. Never! I hate you! Actually, before I even go over to um, to Dave over there, I just want to show you the spot where I got Trevor's haircut. So I think it's the only place he can get the, the bald cut. So yeah, it's the Bob Moulet over here. And it's around the corner for the Pansab Pansabis, which I'm actually going to go in there and uh, see if I can buy Michael a quick outfit. Oh, too close! Yeah, make him look all proper for his meeting with... Uh, Mr. Dave Norton there. Did you see the That's fucked up? Hey, sorry. Hello. So I think this is the first time I'm walking in here on camera. So let's see what the options are. We got suits. You smoke suit, blue gray. Oh, some of this stuff is nice. Wow, black suit. Not bad. I feel like he already has this. Um, I kind of like this too. I'll do that. I'll do that. Enjoy your purchase. Nah, all right. Make sure you That's just too bright. I'll go back to this. Now I'm curious. Once I buy it, do I have to buy it again? No. Okay. Once I own it, I can just change into it. That's good. Any accessories? I think the only person who can get accessories is Franklin. Shirts. Yeah, I don't care so much about the shirts. Yeah, I don't care about that. No, I'm not making him look more like an old man than he is. Oh, more suits. Look at all these. And I think more stuff opens up over time. Um, man, if I don't want to spend all my money on suits, that actually looks like something he would wear. All right, we'll do that. Friends where you got it. Get some decent shoes. Uh, those don't go with these, though. No. Yeah, these are okay. All right, so... Where is sunglasses at? Oh wait, I can, can I do? Yeah. Oh, there you go. So at least you could do that. Make 
sure you can. All right, so you know what? Now that Michael's uh, all dressed up with some place to go, there you go. I'll uh, I'll say goodbye to you from in front of the Pond Zombies. All right, here on Portola Drive. All right, so we're picking up the next one with Dave Norton, and uh, I just want to say thank you guys again for all the support and uh, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day. Bye.